you ready? Yep. All right, this is Kevin Gary. I'm here with uh, bass catcher Devin Mezzarocco. Uh Devin, want to give a grade for me for your season so far? Uh, you know, I think I'm happy with the way that I've been playing. Uh, the team, I think we're about to, uh, you know, get on a good run here. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not too good at letter grades, but I'm, I'm happy with the way things have went thus far. Right. Uh, you're having such a good season. You started the Triple A All Star Game, and you started in the Futures Game. Uh, tell me, uh, what kind of experience was that like? You no, know, it was awesome. I think the, uh, the Futures Game was cool just to be playing in a big league stadium with, right. a, you know, a pretty good crowd and some of the guys that were on hand at the game, Mike Piazza, and Luis Gonzalez. Right? I mean, it was it was fun just to be around those guys and. Uh, the All-Star game was also a lot of fun just because you play against guys all year. You really don't know them, but it was cool just to hang out with some of the guys and meet some of the other guys from the different teams. All right. Let's go back to August the 8th, last season, your first game with the bat. You come up in the bottom of the ninth. The bases are loaded with one out. We're down by two. You know, what's going through your mind? Take me through that at bat. You end up hitting the grand slam. Oh, uh, I was just trying to drive the ball to the outfield, get a sack fly there or something like that, and the pitcher left one up and away, and I put a good swing on it. I think the wind was blowing out pretty good hard to right, so I, I got a little lucky there, but it was it, it was awesome. Just the first game and to help the team win, it was it was a great experience. And a walk-off grand slam, what kind of feeling is that like? Well, it was definitely cool. Uh, I had a couple uh, walk-off home earlier in the year, too, so anytime, anytime you... Uh, can hit a walk-off home run, it's, it's pretty cool. Right. You keep that clutch hitting going so far this year. You're batting 347 for runners in scoring position. What's been a key to that success this year? Uh, I think it's just getting a good pitch to hit. Uh, with guys in scoring position, pitchers will attack you a little bit different. And uh, for me, it's just being patient and getting a pitch that I that I can put a good swing on. Right. Uh, defensively, you're still improving, uh, but it's got to be a lot easier having Corky Miller and Rick Sweet, your manager's former catcher. Um, do they make it a lot easier on you, or how do they help you going about improving defensively? Yeah, they definitely help out. Uh, I think fundamentally, you know, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at, blocking, throwing, and everything. It's more of just uh, pitch selection and uh, trying to have the pitchers be comfortable with you. That's that's about it. And I think, well, you know, I've been happy with the way things have went defensively so far this year. Uh, you've caught 68 games so far this year. One of them back in May was an 18-inning marathon up in Rochester. Uh, if you remember that, were your legs getting a little weary during that game? Well, yeah, I mean, it was a long game. I think, you know, it was still pretty early in the year, so I was fine. I wasn't, right. you know, I wasn't dragging or nothing. It was more mentally mentally draining, I'd say, you know, I don't think I got a hit that day either, so that kind of was, was a little tough, but, you know, it wasn't bad. You go from a marathon game to last night, you're catching Edison Volquez, uh, he throws a complete game, only gave up two runs, what's it like catching a pitcher who's on like he was last night? Oh, he was great, I think, uh, you know, that's the Volquez that everybody expects to see day in and day out, he was uh, throwing a lot of strikes, mixing his pitches, throwing all three for strikes, it was Whenever you have a guy like that, it's a lot of fun to catch just because you can pretty much put down anything and you know he's going to make a good quality pitch. Right. Uh, let's talk about the team for a minute. Uh, seems like the Achilles heel all year has been committing the errors. Uh, is there any one thing you can point to to explain the error problem on the team this year? Well, I think, I don't know. It's just sometimes, uh, we, you know, we have our lapses just like any other team, but we, uh, I think here down the stretch, things are really going to start to uh, start to click in August, and you know we'll get on a good roll. Hopefully, you guys do get on a good roll going into the play today. You're 11 and a half back of Columbus in the division, but that's about where we were last year. Um, does the comeback from last season help you any at all this year? Uh, I think it just you know proves that you're, you're never really out of it. I think. Uh, it, there's a lot of different guys, a lot of turnover and everything, but it, there's still, you know, a good core of the team together from last year that went on that run, and I think that just proves that at any point we could we could go off on a real good streak here and make, uh, you know, hopefully get up there close to Columbus. All right. 
Uh, trade deadline's fast approaching. There's some that think you're going to be traded. There's some that think you're going to get called up. There's some that think you're just going to stay in Louisville until September. How does that play in your mind? Are you trying to think about it? What is, does that play in your mind at all? No, I don't worry about that at all. I try to control what I can control, and everything else will, you know, take its course. I'm just going out there and doing the best I can day in and day out on the field, and all that other stuff will, it'll, it'll happen. It won't. It doesn't matter. All right. uh, you know, I'll be where I need to be at the end of the day. Okay. Uh, our final question comes from BRM reader Sharon Marmon. She wants to know who your biggest baseball influence was when you were growing up. Uh, definitely my father. He uh, he played uh, college baseball and was a coach back home. So he uh, really taught me everything that I know about the game and, you know, worked out with me every single day. So it was it definitely him. With Batch Catcher Devin Mezzarocco, this is Kevin Gary for Blog Red Machine.